when she was looking back on her career, Cossington Smith said that her main aim was ex to express colour vibrating with light in her work. And although she often looked at light in a natural sense, in the, in the natural landscape, this work is quite unusual for her in that it's like we can detect in it the thrill of discovering the power of modern artificial electrical illumination. So when she normally paints, you know, the ambient landscape, here she's looking at light and the way that it can really reanimate a scene in that sort of artificial electrical sense. In terms of colour, I mean, colour was always really quintessential to Cossington Smith's work. She was one of the great colourists of the 20th century in Australian art. And in this work, she was just clearly driven by that fantastic colour of the lacquered furniture, that dazzling array of the greens and the reds, and really it becomes the subject of her work, along with that dynamic Art Deco forms, that the geometry of that that she saw in the modern cafe. It really becomes colour and modern geometry that she uses to express that sense of modernity. She was a fascinating painter. I mean, she was not so much a recluse as a very solitary painter. She didn't really mix with the fashionable artistic set in Sydney, but she painted in relative isolation from her home in Taramurra. So she was in a sense, although she exhibited quite regularly in Sydney, she was also quite removed from that scene. So you get the sense that Cosington Smith had a very firm and distinct vision about her art and that she was well aware of what was happening around her and happening overseas but she had a very clear vision of where her work was going and pretty much I think that was driven for her by the idea of colour and expression in colour. She, like um, a number of women in the 19, female artists in the 1920s and 1930s, were really um, important painters and quite exceptional in promoting the precepts of modern art and modernist painting in Australia. Uh, and during that, paint, uh, during that period, the interwar period, rose to prominence and their work still remains as some of the most important paintings that developed in 20th century Australian art.